Today we'll be going over how to easily create these professional animations in Final Cut Pro X. Here on our screen is our website, www.b3-studios.com, where you can find a whole lot of Final Cut Pro plugins that will help and enhance your Final Cut Pro workflow. Um, there are plenty of plugins, so just go check the site out and I know you'll find something that you like. Now let's get right into the video for today. All right, guys, so we have our clip here and this is just nature and water, pretty much. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a title. So we're gonna hit our shortcut. We're gonna hit Control T to add the title. And this brings up a basic title. We're gonna press Command B to break it. And we are going to make this say nature. We're gonna put it bold and we are just gonna kind of bring it up on the Y axis. Increase the scale. I'm gonna add a drop shadow to make this look um, more professional in a way. So we just click on the drop shadow right here. And we're gonna add another title. So we're gonna hold option and drag up to make a duplicate. I'm gonna place that right behind our first title. And we're gonna call this one Wildlife. Now we're just gonna move, uh, excuse me, that was the wrong one. Let's move Wildlife down a little bit. And we're gonna move it on the X axis a little bit as well. And we're going to decrease the size, the scale of it. Now we are going to pretty much make our titles look way more professional. Um, so how we're going to do that is we're going to, I'm going to leave the link for this in the description. Um, this is the After Effects motion animation. Um, you're just going to drag that on your title simply. And as you can see in the inspector panel, we have plenty of options. We're gonna make this fly from the right though. Um, and the out animation, we're gonna make it fly to the right as well. And we're gonna increase the motion blur to make it look professional. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. Gonna need to do some adjusting, but it looks pretty good so far. Now, let's increase the size of the title the length of the title, excuse me. And let's actually make this fly from the left to make it look more interesting, actually. Okay, nice, that looks a lot better. Let's increase the length again. Perfect. Now let's do the same thing for the wildlife. We're gonna add our After Effects motion animation and increase the length. And we're gonna make this fly from the left. And that outer animation is gonna to fly to the left as well. We're gonna increase the motion blur. And let's see how this looks. Looks pretty good, but let's try to make it fly from the right to make it do the opposite of what the nature title was doing. So we're gonna make it fly from the right for the in animation and for the out animation, we're gonna make it fly to the right. Now let's play this back. Perfect, looks really, really good, really professional already. Um, this is a very, very powerful plugin um, that simply makes any type of object look great. Now we're gonna bring our elephant clip here. We're gonna increase the size of this. This can be any clip, guys. I'm just using the elephant, for example. And we're gonna pretty much just mask this out. We're gonna break the clip here. And we're gonna do some masking. So we're gonna use our magnetic mask for this one. And we're gonna put that on our clip. And we're just gonna click on our subject, which is our elephant. Once we click on our elephant, we're gonna analyze and we're gonna let Final Cut Pro do its thing. 
when you press done, when you think everything looks accurate to you. Good, now I'm gonna increase the feather to make this look even better and more realistic. I'm gonna bring the elephant down on the y-axis. Move it a little bit closer to the title so everything merges well. And I really don't like the way it just popped up. The elephant just popped up. It doesn't look as neat as the titles. So we're just gonna get our After Effects motion animation that we, that we applied on our titles to our masked elephant. And this is gonna show you how powerful this uh, plugin really is and how easy it is to implement within your footage. So we're gonna make this fly from the bottom and for our outer animation, it's gonna fly to the bottom. And we're gonna increase the motion blur to make this look very professional and more realistic. Now let's play this back. Looks nice, looks perfect. That looks really good, guys. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna leave the link for this plugin in the description. This is a very, very useful plugin that I use pretty much on the majority of my um, editing and my um, workflow in Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys will use this a lot as well. It saves a lot of time. Um, and obviously it gives you the professional look that you want. Um, so yeah, guys, if you like this video, um, please comment like it, subscribe. Um, we will be coming out with more content just like this. Um, and uh, I hope this video helps you out, guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure you guys visit the website, www.b3-studios.com. We can find even more plugins. All right, guys, um, talk to you soon. All right, thank you. Bye.